investigation continues today after vandalism at Houston High School this morning. Law enforcement, fire, and school officials are working around the clock to get things back in order. Yeah, our Victoria Bailey spent the day on campus. She joins us live in the studio with more. Victoria? That's right, guys. When I arrived today, I could see the glass on the ground from the early morning break in. Investigators have charged Houston High School school alum Patrick Nichols in the case. School leaders say this won't stop them from welcoming students back to school Monday morning. Tense moments for the Houston School District as the high school became the target of a vandal. Water sprinkler systems had gone off. There had been a fire set in our home ex room, our old home ec room, and um, lots, lots of technology destroyed. We received this call this morning about 1:30 or 2. Uh, officer arrived on scene. I here at the high school for a fire alarm went off, and uh, we got down here. The officer approached the door here, and uh. I kept seeing this guy walking around on that side. You know, he didn't know it was an employee here or what, so. That guy was 20-year-old former Houston High School student Patrick Nichols. Houston Police Chief Billy Vole says shortly after the officer checked the scene, Nichols led him in and the officer was able to make an arrest. Nichols was charged later Friday morning. Well, one of them going to be arson. Oh, fellow mystery and a burglary. Yes, sir. More charges pending. Houston School Superintendent Tony Cook says he's heard this happened, but so happy to have community volunteers to help with the cleanup. You don't prepare specific, specifically for an incident like this. You hope they don't happen. I just appreciate everybody jumping in and doing what they've done. I mean, it's at, at 2.30 this morning when I got here, I thought, wow, we'll be a week out of school. But these guys have done an amazing job. Houston High will be opening to welcome students back on Monday as scheduled. Cook says if anything changes, he will make an announcement sometime on Sunday.